out of Cowdy's. Here's a quick little weekly walkabout to show you the cool stuff we got to sell this week. Beautiful pair of Royal Worcester vases, painted by Frederick Cheevers, about 1900, give or take. Lovely, lovely things. We've got lots of coins and currency in the sale this week, lots of Australian florins, big box full, it weighs about a kilo or two. A little gold coin down the bag there, some better pictures of these on our website. Some lovely gold jewellery as well. Little uh, Franklin Mint silver ingot set. Lovely old medallions and badges and things like that in that little tin. There's some lovely stuff this week. Some nice furniture, lovely big cedar chest of drawers. Really like the beaten brass uh, fire screen with the koala up the gum tree. Bit unusual, really cool thing. Uh, lots more coins as well. Heaps of coins. I think Aaron's had fun this week sitting at the table with his green banker's visor on. Going through, sorting them all out. Some great stuff. Got some more nice furniture and some other bits and bobs this week. Heaps of stereo equipment. Got some USB turntables. Some old sort of religious or church banners or something like that. These are all folded up there, all hand painted. Pretty cool. Heaps of records and stuff. Cool old vacuum cleaner all there complete. Big lot of kids' toys. Really like um, the rooster and the hen. I think it's Roger and Hannah are their names. Funnily enough, Roger's the hen. Anyway, this is really cool as well. The ride on rocking sheep. I know, I could make jokes about New Zealanders and all that sort of stuff, but we won't. We won't. <laughs> Really like this as well, a little Ballarat made, little 1970s kids little suite. Screwy bits of cast iron, sort of old lamp arm or branch there. Toy boat's actually pretty cool over the back. We've got lots of cool stuff this week, guys. Some more lots of lovely books and stuff. Heaps of pretty china. Some nice box sort of building sets, Meccano-like. Comic books. Lovely linen and stuff. Some more nice paintings as well this week. Love, really like this Stan Thomas, Ballarat painter, 1950s. Nice example of his work. Love that tree smack bang in the middle. Uh, this is lovely, little Audrey Snell still life. Ian Armstrong's a lovely little Lincoln wash as well, dated 1969. And this thing's quite interesting as well. Can't make out the signature. But it's well painted, lovely, lovely thing. Got lots of nice furniture and stuff this week. Little My Heritage dining suite with the extension table and the chiffonier there. The animal masks do not go with the chiffonier. They're a separate lot. They are fantastic. Another nice little dining suite here as well with a sideboard extension table. And I really like this uh, library table actually. It's a lovely bit with the fluted sort of Tudor style legs and the three drawers across the front. It's a pretty cool heat lamp as well actually with the sort of big bent arm on it. Kind of like that as well. Big sort of Art Nouveau, Arts and Crafts, beaten copper frame there with a the chromolithograph in the middle. Some great little piggy banks and a wombat bank. It's pretty wacky. Lovely tins. Some nice stuff this week. All the old pressure and amp gauges. Little cased banjo mandolin. Kind of like this little religious sculpture as well, actually. Carved wood. A little hot point, little electric jug. Cute little size. Another big bushels tin there. It's in pretty average condition compared to the ones last week, but it should still go okay. Nice bits of pottery and the old military telephone and some motoring stuff. The old Bedford uh, front plaque there and the shell tin. Couple of nice bits of glass. Nice bit of Ruby, uh, Mary Gregory there in amongst a group lot. It's got a little bit of damage, which is a shame. These are unusual, actually. Crinoline lady tins. Pretty cool. And at the last two cabinets, we've got some lovely china and glass. Nice little oriental teapot. Bit of a wacky Crown Devon Holly Hobby vase. Nice little model boat over the back. And this is a nice group with a lovely little Vesta, a little match striker there, advertising William Whiteley's whiskey. Some more nice photographs, a little clock. The Keynes mustard box down the bottom is an absolute ripper. Speaking of lovely packing crates, look at this player's navy cut cigarette crate. Lovely thing with all the cardboard sides on it, all in good condition. It's got the original label on one side where it's to be sent to. Really cool big thing. Lovely big water filter here. We've got another really nice one of them later on. Here it is down the bottom here. Really nice bit. This the Timperley's improved water filter. Number three, Melbourne there. I think it's illustrated in a book. Uh, it's a lovely, lovely thing. It's the only one known to exist. It'll be interesting to see what it sells for this week. Really like the big sort of chemist bottles over the back there. Or pocketry jars. 
Nice big uh, riding box or travelling box there as well. Some lovely crocodile skin bags. Nice lot of Melbourne Olympic ephemera. All uncut sheets of stamps and things it looks to be. Nice little bit of Denby there. The old buggle over the back. And some nice little bits. The old pilot goggles are pretty cool. A couple of lovely old ginger beer bottles. That's an unusual bit of Torquay wear. A little um, trivet. A little lamp trivet or something like that. Nice bits of pottery and glass as well. A little shell bit of pottery there. Looks to be Peggy Warren uh, Glaith, I think, or Gaith, or something like that. It's signed underneath. Nice little bit of Martin Boyd or Guy Boyd up in the corner there as well. This is actually one of the nicest bits of Arno Barrow I think I've seen for a little while. Lovely old candlestick phone. And the Chaparis style, or reproduction Chaparis bronze. She's quite lovely as well. There's some, also some nice books on Tasmania. As well, there's some good stuff this week, guys. Should be an interesting sale with all the coins and everything to see how they all go. Anyway, hopefully you saw something you liked. If you didn't, bad luck.